I had this idea, and this is like super rough brainstorming. Don't take this as fact or anything, but let's compute the variety. So compute the difference from the current frame to the previous frame. So how are we gonna do that? Like imagine if we had an array that would tell us how different this frame is from this frame. If you haven't seen the first video I made on this project, go and watch that, because this is gonna build on top. But you know, when I was doing the random edit thing, it looked pretty good, but it was still kind of random. It would be much better if my algorithm was able to actually pick the frames that have the most, the most difference from everything else. Now, how are we supposed to calculate that? Well, all I was thinking is we, we look at every single pixel and we just compute the difference. And if we do that for every single frame in the video, maybe, <laughs> I'm not saying it's gonna work, but maybe, We're going outside today. How strange, I know. We're gonna be normal and hang out with some friends and uh, I think they wanna go to a club, which is not really my thing. This is, this is sick, hey guys. Computer science content. Hello, hello. Hey guys, today it is, it's a few days later, it's a Sunday. We, we tried to run the first test of our variety algorithm and look what it told us. Pixel format must be this. So it looks like this can convert like one pixel format into another. I just, I, I don't know how it works, so I'm gonna have to look it up. We realized last night that we wanna do our calculation in RGB. We tried to convert to RGB and now we get these super weird errors and segmentation faults and... It doesn't look like it completely broke. We, we've lost a little bit of memory. Oh, dude, it's almost like, it's almost real time. It's, it's slower than real time, a little bit. So we can see it looks like I've moved the camera here, and then here is like I haven't really moved the camera. Let's see when we change clips. 0 0.05, 0 0.02, 0 0.03. The next clip is 0.23 because it's a new scene. So we can actually mathematically detect, like we think that there's a new scene here because this frame is so different from this frame. When I hit play here, at 40 seconds is right, 39 seconds is right at the start. So this is this, is this right here. And then it goes back down. And then uh, at about, what is that number? at 59 seconds, 54 seconds, 56 seconds, not much is going on. Oh, it's me, bro, you see that? So this right here is detecting the movement for me, right? When you code for two hours and then you run it for the first time, yeah, that doesn't really look right. I, I've spent so much time working and I feel like I haven't explained what's going on, so I'm just gonna do a full rundown. I tried to write this function that would be able to tell the difference between one frame and another frame. Really all I have to do is go through every single pixel and subtract the red, ch if, you're, if you're talking about RGB, you know, subtract the red channel, subtract the green channel, subtract the blue channel. Like you can see the actual code here that how simple it is. Because we're dividing it by 255, this will give us a number between 1.0 and 0, 0.0. If the two pixels are completely opposite, like black and white, then we would get a 1.0. So we basically get the average of every pixel between 0.0, .0 and 1.0 for the red channel and the green channel and the blue channel. And then we get the average of all three channels. So you can see there's no crazy math or anything. It's so simple. We compare this frame to this frame and then we shift. We compare this frame to this frame and then we shift. And what we end up with is an array of values between 0.0, .0 and 1.0 on that represent how different this frame is from the previous. Run the very first demo of this, this program. This is the output file. Uh, this is our source videos. So it's gonna pull the videos from here. The threshold is zero. So that means any slight bit of motion, it's gonna pick up and make that cut around it. This one can be any length because it depends on how much there is in the video. 
uh let me check it out so yes we have a loading bar on the, on the command line so we'll say encode new file oh yeah new file coming in here so let's watch it back yo oh yeah oh yeah dude it just <laughs> cut straight a little multimeter bro oh I'm, I'm doing the tests on the same data so 57 gigs of video if you can remember we're gonna say only detect things above 10 percent motion that is a big amount so we're just gonna be sitting here for a while basically <laughs> I just, two hours, an hour and a half of sitting here, and then we get a seg fault. We're gonna try and do sequence two again. The one that gave me a seg fault last time. I think we fixed quite a bit of bugs. I'm gonna leave this running overnight and we're gonna come back and see what's up. <laughs> okay, let's see what's up. Our input is 2.7 hours of video and the output is like 100 seconds of video? 100 seconds of video. So you can see it says we cut 98.9% .9 out. However, this is not gonna be like a good edit. This is just gonna be a bunch of different scenes together. So I wanna see if the algorithm is capable of identifying what it thinks is different scenes. Let's try to encode it. New video files being created here. It just finished, let's watch it back. The audio is, I'm, I'm gonna mute the audio, but let's, this is gonna be first time basic scene detection. Let's see what it did. Okay. Okay, I remember it. I remember doing that. Honestly, dude, I'm kind of surprised at how good it looks. It's it is detecting a lot of motion, but it is cutting the scenes that that look different from each other. Honestly, I am. I thought it would be worse. Now this algorithm cannot tell if a frame looks good or bad. But what it can do is, is compare the difference between all these frames and try to pick the most different ones so we get the most variety. Um, I want to show you what the original edit looked like at this part. So the one on the right is the algorithm and the one on the left was edited by me. This is the original video. I swear, parts of the algorithm were edited better than... Oh my, oh my. The algorithm included more clips of it in the camera store than I did because I thought it was super boring and stuff. Like, like look, right? So like, we're like, oh look, camera store. And then, and then I just showed the tripod, but then I was at, and then I was at home. But look at how much more this algorithm found that it thought was interesting. And honestly, I respect that. I think this edit looks better on the right. than. <laughs> I'm very surprised that our scene detection kind of worked. It has the potential to identify very sensitive amounts of movement, like with security cameras. Um, and it also has the ability to detect completely different scene changes, like you just saw in this example. I just need to work a lot more at the scene detection and I want to add a few more parameters that, that make it even better. Wow, guys, I just finished editing and I just kind of had a WTF moment. Like, what did I just edit? So I hope, I feel like you guys are going <laughs> to... Anyways, we have a really cool sponsor in today's video. Algo Expert is a website that helps people ace their programming interviews. So if you're a developer, you've probably heard of the technical interview where your interviewer will ask you a question like, can you solve this algorithm? Or how would you solve this problem and do it on a whiteboard or whatever, right? Those are often the most challenging things. And I'm sure like I would totally 
fail. <laughs> so the whole point of Algo Expert is they have 65 popular interview questions. They've got five different programming languages. They have this really cool interactive code execution environment and video explanations of every problem. We've got a special code for you. If you go to algoexpert.io slash Devin, you get 30% off, as you can see here. You know, welcome Devin Crawford viewers. You know, subscribe to the channel if you're new and uh, let me know if you want to see more episodes of video editing automation as a series. I think it would be cool. I don't know. I think I'm going to keep working on it. It's just a lot of work, but it's fun. All right, that's it. I'm out.